Well, no. We're looking for the opposite. We're looking for, if we're looking for a top, we're looking for um, um, the, the volume. Uh, well, actually, let me, let me say that a little bit differently. We're looking for extreme volume to come in on the top, on the moves up. We're not looking for just volume to increase. We're looking for extreme volume like we see here, where you can see price spikes up, volume has a big move up. Over here, same thing, price is moving up, volume moves up. But we want to see the high readings. We really, you know, you want to see, you want to see it in the, in the extreme range. Now, uh, let's let's take this spike over here. Remember, that's this day. Draw this line across. Right at the lower edge, I would just I just call that very high, not extreme, just very high volume. So you know what? Yeah, you could make a case for it. So then, what are we looking for? Well, we want to see the the pro move. Now, when we go down, even to this intraday stuff, do we see any pro moves? Remember, what is a pro move? The pro move is where, uh, if you remember from the last example, I'll just draw it for you. The price makes a high, a retracement, then another, then a, a, a uh, uh, extension, meaning the price goes above this prior high here. That's a pro move. Boom. Do you see any of that going on? Actually, no. Uh, you know, price, here we go, there's a retracement, can't get above the high. Price moves down. Now, here's where I've got to be careful. Because I know price continue to go up, I don't want to get caught in making a case against going short. I, I'm going to say this. At this point, because if I were a stochastic crossover guy, yeah, I'd be looking to go short. Absolutely, I'd be looking to go short. I, you know, I just, I just have to admit that. You got to be honest. Now, if you're going short, you've got a, a relatively small amount of risk. This, this day closes at 15, 16. By this time, right here at 72, you got to be out. I mean, even just because it broke past this prior high, but look, volume is starting to spike uh, as the market's moving back up. You can see here. Volume or the price is starting to retrace. Volume drops. Although I do realize on this last bar here, you had a volume start to move up. You've got to be careful that that doesn't give you hope. And let me say this: um, in this very very small world right here, let me, let me draw this better. In this very small world here, this is a, a volume spike. But based on this stuff back here, is that high volume? No. So what do you have to be careful of? You've got to be careful that if you're short and you see the market move up, that this does not give you false hope. Why am I saying that? Because that's exactly what the professional money wants you to think. They want you to think that I have hope. The market's moving down, volume's moving up, 